Well, good to be with you again this week as we continue our walk through the Word of God. Uh, this week, I think I have something challenging for you and I uh, from the Lord. And uh, I was on my back porch reading my Bible, and I believe the Lord spoke this into my heart to speak to you. So we're going to look at a couple of verses today. Uh, if you have your Bible, open it up to Colossians chapter 3, verse 1. If ye, the, if ye then... Be risen with Christ. Seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on the things above, not on things on earth, for you are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. Now over in the Gospel of Luke, the Lord Jesus is speaking in uh, chapter 9, starting verse 23. And he said to them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Skip down to verse 26. For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, this is his word this whole book from Genesis to Revelation are his words for whosoever shall be ashamed of me and my words of him shall the son of man be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory and in his fathers and of the holy angels friend the time of being a patty cake Christian is over If you're ashamed of Jesus Christ, I challenge you to look and be honest with yourself and have you really made Jesus the Lord of your life? Far too many Christians today are looking to political parties, looking to man, to change this country. The only way this country will ever be changed is Jesus Christ. Yet so many that claim to be believers are ashamed of him. How, how, how can you say I'm ashamed, Mace? You're ashamed of his word because it doesn't line up with society's morals of today. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His word is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His word does not change. So you better determine who you're going to line up with. Are you going to line up with God? That's who I'm lining up with. Does that mean I'm perfect? No, I make mistakes. Thank God his word says if I confess my sins, he's faithful and just to cleanse me of all unrighteousness. That's the message that this world needs to hear. Yet too many, too many have put their party affiliation over the word. How else can you say that they vote the way they do? I'm telling you right now, you better side with whichever a person that's running, and there's no perfect person running. There's no perfect party. Why? Because they're full of people. But you better side with life and, and whatever platform is closest to the Word of God. But more importantly, you need to quit looking to the Republican Party. You need to quit looking to the Democratic Party. You need to quit looking to the Libertarian Party. You need to quit looking to the Socialist Party to bring peace to this nation, to bring prosperity to this nation. No, the only way we're going to have peace in this nation is if this nation embraces the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. You cannot be ashamed of Jesus. You cannot... You know, you will fight tooth and nail about your political beliefs. You will fight tooth and nail about your football team, baseball team, basketball team. I know because I do. We become passionate about that which we care about. Why aren't you as passionate about Jesus? Why am I not as passionate about Jesus. We need to get our priorities straight. We need to take the message that Jesus 
is the Son of the living God, the only Son of God, that he came and died for this lost world, a perfect sacrifice on the cross, and that he rose from the dead. And if you will believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that he is Lord, you will be saved. And we should take this message with love. We don't beat them over the head with it, but we should not be ashamed to tell people about Jesus. Have you ever noticed that? Here's how the devil does it. He'll let you talk about God. Oh, I believe in God, yes. Yes. But he, he tries to hinder you from saying the name above all names, Jesus. Why? Because he knows that name will set the captive free. He knows that name will bring healing to the sick. He knows that name will bring peace to the troubled mind. So you have to buck up in the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, there's another thing. Don't be ashamed of the Holy Ghost. Oh, I'm proud of the Holy Ghost. I'm proud to speak in tongues. I'm proud to see the gifts of the Spirit operating. Don't be ashamed of who you are in Christ. Hallelujah. Too big a price was paid for you to be shamed ashamed. So what am I saying in all this? I'm saying it's up to you to tell somebody today about Jesus. It's up to you to side with the Word of God. Period. Not just some of it. All of it. Well, Mace, I can't do that. One day at a time. Just follow the word, what the word says. I mean, Jesus does not change. His word does not change. If you love people, walk in love. Love your Lord. Love God with all thy heart, mind, and soul. And love your neighbor as yourself enough to tell them the truth. And you know what? You don't have to compromise the Holy Spirit will give you opportunity. I'll give you an example. Uh, one of my former jobs, uh, there were a lot of gay people that worked there. I got along with them just great. A lot of them came to my wedding. And uh, But you know what? They knew exactly where I stood when it came to their lifestyle. Why? Did you beat them over the head with it? Did you tell them they were going to hell? No. No. But if they asked, which some did, I told them, well, I believe what the Bible says. But I, you can get set free from this. Jesus can set you free. Look at me right now. Jesus can set you free from anything. From addiction to pornography, drug addiction, anger, hatred. Jesus can set you free. He is the answer. He is the answer. So I want to give you an opportunity right now. Maybe you're watching this and you don't know Jesus as your Lord. Or maybe you're battling some sin and you want to be set free. Jesus can set you free. He who the Son has set free is free indeed. So I want you to say this prayer with me. Say, O oh God, I come to you a sinner. But I don't want to be a sinner anymore. I want to be saved. I believe Jesus died and rose from the dead. I believe he's your only son. And I confess right now before man, heaven, and hell, Jesus is my Lord. Holy Spirit, come into my life. Come on, say this out loud. Holy Spirit, come into my life. Change me. Change me. Change me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Now, friend, you have to believe in your heart and speak with your mouth what the Word says. And the Word says you're free. So say, I'm free. In the name of Jesus. But Mace, I don't feel any different. Don't go by your feelings. Get into the Word. See what God says about you. Start in the book of Romans. 
Romans through Revelation is written specifically to you because you're the church. Find out, find every scripture that says in him, through him, by him, or whatever variation of that, underline it in your Bible, and I challenge you to write those scriptures out and then begin to speak those over yourself because that is you. In him, you have been set free. Hallelujah. In him, you are redeemed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I love you. God bless you. And if uh, go to church this weekend. If you don't have a good church and you're in the Houston area, I encourage you to come visit Houston Faith Church, pastored by Pastor Chaz and Joni Stevenson, a wonderful, loving, spirit-filled, word of faith church. Glory to God. Uh, read your Bible. I encourage you. I tell you what, read your Bible so you know what side to be on. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you. I love you. I do love you enough to tell you the truth. And if I don't see you around town, I'll see you.